All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I got just a little different video for you today. Um, so I'm going to shoot guns tomorrow. Uh, my muzzle loader, my 30 out six, and my 22s. And last year, I decided that I was going to spray paint uh, one of my um, guns, <laughs> like the uh, the choke on my 12 gauge. Anyway, and I wasn't sure if it was going to hold up. And I put my Thompson Center Encore through the ringer to see this year, or I guess in spring gobbler season, if the paint would hold up on it. Let me tell you guys, it does excellent. So let me show you what I got to work with. And let me show you the before and after, obviously, and then uh, you can make your own decision. Now, a lot of people will cringe and say, oh my gosh, you're spray painting your gun? Yes, I am. Um, you know, I've got all the, uh, the rust off of it, and there's really, to me, there's really nothing else left except uh, just a uh, ugly gun. So I'm gonna fix it today, guys. Now, I'm not gonna camouflage or anything. I'm just gonna spray paint it flat black and uh, I'll show you the uh, before, like I said, and the after. So let's get in the garage here and get this started. All right, guys, so what I recommend doing now, I spray paint my traps. If you watch any of my trapping videos, you'll know that. But um, when I spray painted my traps and I saw how good that worked, I thought, man, that's really good. If you spray paint outside on a windy day, you probably will get dust and run marks. If you do it inside a garage or somewhere where it's you know well ventilated, obviously, and... Um, yeah, where there's no wind and it's just kind of a temperature, a good temperature, it'll be a lot better for you. Let me show you what I got to work with here and uh, you can make your own decision. So here it is. This is my gun. Now what I have done um, inside, if you have a muzzle or you know what I'm talking about. Before I was using 777, I used this regular Pyrodex and it has rusted the inside of my barrel. And it's not like the best clean now. It's pitted pretty decent. But let me tell you what, this top Center Encore really performs. I mean... Obviously, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm way too small of a channel, but I just can't get rid of it. Uh, before I had this, I had a night disc, and uh, I like the night disc minus the little cap you had to put in there, and then you had to put a primer on top of that. I didn't like that. But this gun to me is very good. Uh, I've had like nothing but good things to say about this gun. So what I did, the barrel was rusted pretty bad, um, and what I did is sometimes I don't think, I just do, I just act. And what I did is I plugged my breech up and I dumped this stuff inside of my barrel and let me tell you um, this is pretty awesome this cleaned my barrel shiny however it still has the pit marks in it but I'm gonna tell you guys um, just because you have pit marks in your muzzle loader or whatever at least with mine it is super super accurate so Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, as you see what it looks like, let's take a look. It's pretty well used, as you can see. I mean, it's got marks all over it. And anywhere you see these marks is where the bluing came off because of that stuff I just showed you. Uh, if you want to take paint or anything off, that is some really good stuff. And I let it sit for like three or four days and I dumped it out and just the rust was unbelievable it came out. And it's still, for the most part, it's still rust free. And I've had no issues with it minus that. So I'm going to put some uh, tape, some painter's tape, on top of my lenses. And then I'm going to commence the spray paint. All right, so what I did is I just put um, a little bit of painter's tape over the scope caps. And uh, on my ring where it has the numbers so I don't, I can see them. Even though it's pretty common sense. Now what I did, I just took a piece of metal. I, I'm an electrician, so I have a fish tape. And I just took a piece of metal here. And I'm just going to hang it kind of like this. And I'm going to spray paint it. So one thing I will caution you about... Um, make sure at least this is my my own personal opinion maybe a little hint i don't know tip or whatever but make sure you get a good spray paint because i've used walmart spray paint just a cheap 97 cent one on um my traps and they it does not last it comes right off this stuff is pretty good it's like five bucks and i painted a lot of traps with it and quite frankly i painted a lot of stuff with it so without further ado let's get the let's get the paint guys All right, so one thing we want to do is make sure we just put like a very light coat on it. I don't want to overdo it. Uh, I'm going to take it outside once it starts not getting very gummy and let the sun kind of uh, hit it pretty good. Right now, it's not windy outside. I just recommend leaving it inside. However, tomorrow I want to shoot and I want to get it dry as quick as possible. So, we'll check back in with you here in a few and I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, guys. 
right at about four and about a half hours have passed since I've done this. Now I put three coats of paint on uh, the gun and I'm going to show you, you can see, you probably can't really see too well on the camera, but you remember what it looked like before, obviously, um, with the parts missing and um, right at the end of the barrel where the bluing was missing. So uh, it's pretty well covered now and looks excellent. Let me show you the gun. Okay, here it is. Here is, it's the same one. You can see I still got the green tape on and everything. Uh, here is the end of it. Now, I could probably hit it a little bit more. Um, maybe like another another uh, coat, maybe. It's still just a tad sticky, and I think it's because it's so humid out here. I don't know. Maybe not. You're probably going to say, no, that's not why paint is so sticky, blah, blah, blah. But I am going to keep on letting it dry for a little while longer. But it looks fantastic, guys. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I mean, you can see... The only places um, where I probably should have uh, hit it a little bit harder was right up in here. There's this, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there is a little ridge. Now, looking down at it, you won't be able to see it, but when you're actually looking at it, you can actually see. Uh, I probably should have took some uh, steel wool and got that rest of that little, well, actually, actually, I can see it now. It's right there. Anyway, uh, I believe if I'd hit it with some steel wool, it probably would have been excellent uh i'm gonna spray paint a little bit more right around the edge but i mean only reason why is because um well i can kind of see it a little bit you looking down at it, you won't be able to see it but just for my own purposes i want to do it so you know if you're thinking about doing this um 100 recommend it uh you know and the parts where i didn't get like around the scope well truthfully you can take one of them uh pins uh, like a little paint pen and you can fill it in yourself if you really wanted to. Really, I just don't care. I mean, it <laughs> It looked good enough for me and I'm not out to impress anybody by any means. This is for one purpose, uh, for deer hunting and uh, I'm 100% happy with what the way it turned out. So if you think about doing it, I would give it a shot, but just make sure you use a good spray paint because that, that makes a world of difference, believe me. I'm going to go ahead and put it back down because it is kind of sticky and I don't want to I mean, it should have been dried in four hours, but still just a tad sticky. So anyway. All right, guys, there you have it. Pretty cut and dry. Easy way to get bluing back on your gun make it look brand new. Uh, I don't recommend uh, doing an antique gun, obviously. If you if you got an antique gun, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably make sure I did it the right way. But for this, to me, it's excellent. I'm happy with it, and it'll serve me for however long the gun lasts for. So guys, if you like what you see here, hit that like button. Subscribe. I've got another gun I'm going to be doing here probably in a couple weeks or so. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, but uh, I actually have to take it apart. I may or may not do a little video. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys.